It's test time. Hi everyone, it's Neil from Neil's Reef Aquarium. I hope you all have a good week. So uh, today is a bit, something a bit different. We're not. Um, if you watched last week's video, you saw that um, we uh, got some uh, test kits. So we've got the uh, the Triton Lab test uh, Endoc test kit, which um, tests uh, alkalinity, nitrates. Uh, NO3, uh, DOC, which is dissolved organic carbon, and I've never done one of these before, so uh, I want to see, uh, I want to see what the results are on that. So we're doing that, but also uh, we have done this on the on the channel quite a few times now, which is the the standard uh, ICP tests, which tests for uh, pretty much every metal you can imagine. Really, I mean it's uh, well, I'm not even going to read them out, but you can see them there. That's what it's testing for. So, um, what we'll do is uh, we'll have a little look inside and uh, we'll we'll get to work on them. Let's go. Right. So the first one we're going to do is uh, the the standard ICP. I'm going to try and keep myself in the. Uh, I've got the tripod on for this, so uh, I'm going to do try and keep myself as much as I can in this uh, in this bit here. So uh, let's see what we get. So. Um, you get your standard address thing to stick on to send it to and then you've got the instructions here which shows you what you need to do um, and I've, uh, I've done these before but um, I'll show now inside here you've got the envelope this is what you send it back with and you can send this one and this one um, and this one sorry back in the same envelope so that's what we're going to do well you've got two test files here and pretty much you've just got to fill them up uh, with the tank water. So uh, let me just see. First thing I've got to do is log in, uh, register. I've done all of that before. Um, so if you see here, you would go on to the Triton, which I've got on the iPad just over there. And then you select the aquarium if you've got multiple aquariums. Um, then you fill up with water, stick a barcode on it. Uh, and the barcodes should be. Ha, ha, they're here. So we got the barcodes, we stick that on there, and then you register the barcode onto the app, which is on my iPad just here. Um, so let's do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is get some water. Okay, so we've got these two here. It's just pretty much, um, also I think they always say to rinse it out first. So we'll give it a little rinse. Not probably not over the carpet. <laughs> uh, so three, and then the last time we'll we'll use that one. Now I have just done a water change as well, so I don't know if I should have maybe done this before or after the water change. Um, so there's one of them. That's that one there. We'll just put that down there for a sec, and we'll just do the same for this one. Empty. Empty. Right, so that's two of them. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is uh, just stick some stick some of the uh, thingies on, uh, which is the, the barcodes here. Um, so let's just do that now. Never done this on camera before, so I'm probably going to mess it up. Uh, so let's stick that on there. You don't want to mess them up because they are 30, 31 pound fifty each. Although, big shout out to the um, the Ocean Project and Sean who gave me the N Doc one for free. Um, so massive shout out to Sean with that. And I'm really intrigued about that one because that is the one that I've never done before, and I just want to see what the results come back on that. And obviously with the metals as well, because like I said before, we were using spotless water for a bit. So it'd be interesting to see what happens, um, see if there was any contaminants in the water. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was okay, but you've just got to be a bit careful with that one. So, uh, so we got those, so we're going to pop them in there. Um, 
Oh, we won't be posting it just. I just, I just I totally forgot. I need to put a large M, uh, stamp on that. So uh, we'll get Mrs. Uh, Neil's Reef Aquarium to go and get me one of those. Uh, she's out at the moment, so I can message her. Right, so that's that one. So now what we've got to do is just go on to the iPad here. Um, and I think you just got to. I don't know if you can see that. It's very straightforward. I've got one set up already. So I just says enter the barcode. And uh, I know you can't see this here. So I will try and bring it around if I can. Let's see if we can just do this here. Um, right. So enter the barcode. Barcode is to get one of these back out. So let's just do that. So it's B. Zero E D nine J Q. Okay. Barcodes seem to have the wrong format. Okay, so let me try and work this one out and I'll be back with you in a sec. Yeah, sorry about that. It wasn't accepting it, but it is now. So we've got that. So we will put those ones back in. Um, and I'm pretty sure that is it. That's that's it all saved on there. Um, uh, so the next one, uh, we'll just put that on the side. Um, and the next one we're going to do is the end dock, which I'm pretty sure is going to be similar. So let's have a look. Let's just put the Triton one to one side for one second. Um, and it is, look, it's literally identical and they can all even go back together um i might send them separately i don't know uh but it is um register it's the same instructions just different barcode so uh let's um let's do that so first thing we've got to do now let's just get these out there should be another barcode in here somewhere there's the barcodes um test files let's do that again so if you are new to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, we were doing content every single week and if you uh, if you are regular subscribers you'll realize obviously I had my wedding so I um, I had to cut back on the videos but we are back now and we will obviously then um, you know hopefully the next uh next week's video will be the results of this uh because i'm very intrigued to see what they're going to be um and we will share them on the channel uh but we do um yeah we have rev uh, for any new subscribers it's regular content we do an update on um my uh 250 litre reef habitants 90 um reef tank which has been running now for two years um uh, equipment wise we've got like the reef photons we've got like the mp40s we've got the uh, ecotech um uh what they call them the uh the the pump i forget which one i've got now um i want to say the s2 um but yeah look back on previous videos for that and you will see oh, sorry i'm just having problems with my camera today you'll see exactly what you know what we've got in the tank the fish we've got the corals we've got we will do an update probably next week the tank's pretty much the same this week um so uh, and the parameters are literally identical so i'm not going to go for all of that this time so what well, got two of those this is the end dock one so now i need to just get the the barcodes which we'll put on here it's the barcode for that one and the barcode for this one now if you haven't done an ICP test on your reef tanks I would suggest you try and do one every six months um, I think they are really important because these thing these will tell you things that um, that you know your normal testing won't whether it be metals and there could be little things like metal I've, I've known people that have had you know their corals have been dying they don't know why 
they've done an ICP test, it's come up saying there's a metal in the tank and they've put a magnet in the sump and they found a screw. You know, so it can be something similar, you know, small, small as that, you know, but it could be the difference. And they will come back. Not only do they tell you what's in the tank, but they will tell you how to fix it as well. Um, so it will could be a series of water changes. It could be you need to dose some of this over a period of this time. I think mine's going to come back with iodine, low iodine. That is my guess, because I kind of done, if you look back on the last ICP, it come back with that. And I kind of ignored it because um, iodine's you've got to be very, 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 very careful when dosing iodine into the tank. Because if you if you put too much in, boom, total wipeout. So we got them. We're gonna just we're gonna register them now onto this, um, onto the um, computer, and then we're gonna get them posted off to um, Triton. Um, and we usually get results back within a few days. Um, they'll send me a, a report back. I'll have a look through it. I'm often send it to Sean as well, um, who from uh, from the Ocean Project. He's um, he'll tell me. He always likes to have a look at it. He'll tell me if it's good or bad. I kind of know anyway. It tells you it's very for even for a beginner. It's easy. It basically, if it's in green, it's good. If it's in amber, red. It's not not the best, obviously bread being bad. So so that's basically it this week. We're just going to do these tests. I just wanted to show you about this one. Certainly this one because I've never used it before. So, um, but like I said, it tests for alkalinity, uh, dissolved organic carbon, uh, nutrients like uh, tests your nitrates and all the bits like that as well. But I've never used one. But I'm I'm going to see how it goes and. Uh, I know you know I test every week, so it can if the, if it comes back there's some different to what I'm I'm testing, then either I'm testing wrong or um, you know I don't know, I don't know, but I'm I'm guessing it will be the same. Um, so let's get these sent off, and uh, I will see you next week. Um, I wanted to mention something last for if any of you watched last week's video. One thing I I, I had on my list to talk about and I didn't. And that was Houdini. Um, now, obviously, if you look back from the... Houdini was my blue spot jawfish. And I totally forgot to give an update on them. I think the last video... Bef well, not the last one, the week before. Um, well, I think it was labelled like Houdini eaten alive or dead. Um, uh, basically, the update on him is exactly what, what, what I said in that video. He, he, he was pretty... He's dead. Um, you know, I haven't seen him since since then look back and re look see the previous video so something wrong with him it looked like somebody had been eating him he had a massive chunk out of him um he was my favorite fish i'm gutted i'm not you know like i said in in that video i'm not you know things happen in this hobby and they're not all great um so um you've just got to get on with it and um yeah i've gone through two of them now i won't be getting another one but it is what it is um, they're not designed for uh, aquariums. I would not recommend anyone getting a blue spot jawfish. As much as they are, in my opinion, the coolest fish. It is the logo of the channel, but I just don't. They they they're just meant for 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 um, cold colder climates. They 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 like the water quite cool. They don't really settle in a tank. Um, as much as he looks settled and happy, it's yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't get another one. Um, so there are some fish that just belong in the ocean and shouldn't be in reef aquariums and that's one of them um, so so yeah I mean uh, I mean let's do a little quick tour of the tank quickly just to give you an update let's see if I can do that we don't want the bloody chandeliers we want hang on two secs so that's it for this week. So again, big thank you to all my new subscribers. Like I said before, we're past the 500 mark now. Uh, now. We are on the road to 1,000. And um, like I said, we, we should have been there a bit sooner. But it's my fault. Lack of content. You get you, you don't, Your subscribers don't change. So uh, big shout out to you all. Thank you all for, for sub, uh, subscribing to the channel and supporting the channel. Um, it does mean a lot to me and um, I am still getting around to watching everyone's videos. It's still a bit crazy So I've got I'm quite blessed in respect to usually I'll be waiting for a video to come on and now I've got lots to watch and I am I'm, I'm catching up on them and uh, And yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm back I'm, I'm excited again about the tank and let's see what these bad boys come up with so 
Until then, I'm going to see you lot next week. See ya.